Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kong He. I'm the Kubernetes guy. Very much love Kubernetes. I'm also love Google Cloud. As you can see, five times Google Cloud certified and four times Kubernetes certified. I can't wait to show you how to launch a managed Kubernetes 1.26 from Google Cloud, the GKE 1.26 just released. So I'm going to show you straight away how to use uh, the automation to launch a DK 1.26 in about six minutes, just one command. So this is a live demo I'm going to show you. If you don't have a Google Cloud trial account yet, you can sign up a trial account in just about five minutes. And after you have a Google Cloud account, I will show you how to one command to create the GK cluster 1.26. And once you're done your testing, you basically just run another command. You can destroy, uh, clean up the whole environment. So in case you are not aware, Google GKE is the first major cloud offering managed Kubernetes 1.26. Okay, let's get started. So a little bit uh, preparation tasks. So first of all, you need to log into Google Cloud Web Console. And then you click uh, activate uh, cloud shell. It's next to the search icon. And once you open up a cloud shell, you just do the git clone, clone the repository from my GitHub page. And uh, you can optionally to customize the cluster name, the machine type and the region zone, but you don't have to. So then all you need to do is just run this magic command. It's called gke-deploy.sh. We're going to create a GKE cluster from the cloud shell. And we also deploy a sample database, a PostgreSQL in this case, uh, for your testing purposes. Let me jump to the Google Cloud Web Console. So I log in to Google Cloud Web Console. Yeah, I'm also using the trial account. You might have noticed here. And uh, the activate the cloud shell is next to the search icon here. Click activate cloud shell. It might take a few seconds or minutes. It depends if it's around first time, it might take a few minutes. So I already log into the cloud shell. All I need to do is I run the git clone. Where is the git clone command? But do I have this here? Let me remove my old one, okay? I remove my older GK Casa folder. So now this is my GitHub page. So the first one, GK Casa. If you click this link, it will take you to this readme page. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a Google Cloud account, you can sign up a trial account in five minutes. And then once you open up the Google Cloud shell, you just copy this command. And then run from the command line, paste it here. So we will clone the repository to your local home directory and then change it to the directory. The next command. So if you haven't enabled the GKE API, you need to run the create SA. So to enable the API, I'm actually already done that. So let, let me do it again. It will just simply return the, it has been enabled already. So the magic command, which we're going to run here is dot slash gke-deploy.sh. So this is for create the GK cluster. Once you've done your testing, you can run the other command gke-destroy to clean up the environment. So paste the command here, press enter. It takes about six minutes. I haven't updated this one yet for Previous version, it only take uh, about five minutes. Now for the 1.26, it does take uh, about uh, six minutes, sometimes six uh, and a half. So let's uh, wait the job finish. Uh, while we're waiting here, I'm just going to show you a little bit more information from my GitHub page. This is, uh, if you prefer to create the GK cluster via web console, yeah, I got another video to show you how to create a, GK cluster, it take about four minutes. So once you have the GK cluster ready, you might want to try how to enable my container backups. Uh, that's a big challenge actually. So I do have a video to show you how to use the managed Kubernetes backup as a service from a cloud casa. It only take about three minutes to enable the container backups. You can also try the first party product from Google Cloud. It's called backup for GKE. 
but it does take about 30 minutes, three zero, 30 minutes to enable the backup for GK. Yeah, it's, and yeah, that's all I want to show you for now. Now, if you go to Google Cloud Web Console, let me show you, let me open up the Kubernetes engine in the new tab. So if I log into the new tab, you can see my cluster is just started to creating. It might take uh, about uh, six minutes. Yeah, I want to pause here until the cluster is ready. Okay, let's continue. As you can see, the cluster should be ready now. If I do a refresh, you can see my cluster is ready. And uh, I just use one node and the two CPU, eight gigabytes of memory. If I go back to the well, uh, mode to the right hand side, actually I need to click the name of the cluster. It will show you the cluster version 1.26. Awesome, Google Cloud again is the first cloud to provide the managed Kubernetes 1.26. Okay, back to the cloud show, you can see the total time it took uh, to create a GK cluster and also comes with a uh, PostgreSQL database deployed. It took uh, six minutes and uh, 12 seconds. If I do kubectl get some nodes, you can see, you can also verify, I've got one node cluster just created 87 seconds ago. It's 1.26 and it's a one node cluster. If you are interested to see, to check the namespace, you can see I do have a, Young dash PostgreSQL, that's my sample database, has been created successfully. And if I do the pod list, you can see all of my pods are up running as well, including the PostgreSQL sample database. Okay, so that basically just demonstrated to you how good of the Google Cloud you can launch the DK 1.26 in about six minutes. And if you want to verify the details from the web uh, console, this similarly, if you click uh, workloads, you can see, you can filter your uh, namespace. If you select uh, all the namespace and uh, your system object uh, false, and uh, where, where is my cluster? Uh, actually, I did not choose the right cluster. So this should be my right cluster. Let me do a reset. And the answer to keep changes. So these are the stuff uh, I just created. So some of the pods are running. And if you just want to see your own namespace, you can select the namespace, which uh, I just created the PostgreSQL. Okay. So come back to the slide deck. You can see we just <laughs> run the one magic command, gk-deploy.sh. We created 1.26 GK cluster. We also, part of the automation, we uh, deployed a sample PostgreSQL database. And once you've done all of your testing, you can run the GK destroy.sh to clean up the whole environment. What I'm going to do is uh, go back to the cloud shell. I'm going to run, actually, let me copy from the GitHub page. So the second command is to destroy. I want to clean up my whole environment. I just run dk-destroy. And it also take about five minutes. I'm not going to wait the job finish, but just to give you some idea, you can run one command to create the GK cluster 1.26. Once you've done your testing, you can run, run another command gk-destroy.sh to clean up the whole environment. Just to including you a few reference links, how to sign up a trial account. Here's a link and uh, here's automation code available from a GitHub page and uh, the official GK documentation. And the last one from the bottom of the screen, if you do really prefer to create the GK cluster from the web console, it take about four minutes. I also have a YouTube video here. Now, I already have a GK cluster running. There are a lot of challenges. Some of the challenges I listed here, including how to back up my containers, how to secure my containers, how to migrate the containers to GK. It could be from an on-premise, it could be from a, uh, other region, or maybe from other cloud to GK. So these are the challenges I do 
have multiple videos to cover how to back up the containers on GKE, how to secure the containers on GKE cluster, how to migrate the containers to GKE. Yeah, feel free to click the link. I'm actually, I, I will share the link in the YouTube video comments area. So you should be able to click uh, the link to access the videos. That's all I want to cover for today. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope it is useful to you. Enjoy your day. Yes, if you do have any feedback or comments, please reach me out. Thank you once again.